Hi, my name is Nicole Steen, and welcome to my booty workout with ankle weights. I've already warmed up, but you go ahead and get in a warm up three to five minutes to get that booty nice and fired up. Let's get started. We're gonna start with some donkey kicks. So go ahead and take it to all fours. You're going to get your knees directly underneath your hips. You're gonna bring your elbows down right underneath your shoulders. We're gonna start with the leg closest to me. Go ahead and kick it up and down, up and down, good. You're gonna give me 20 of these, bringing it all the way down and then fully extending it up, flexing the foot, pulling the abs in, everything nice and tight. There you go. Now keep pushing to the ceiling, a little diagonal push. Good, squeezing out the top, getting those glutes nice and tight where the booty and thighs meet. Eight. There you go. Push it up. Keep the hips squared. Four more. Three, two. Now hold it up there and pulse. Turn that toe down to the floor. Yes, pulse it all the way up. So the ankle weights just add a little more intensity to your workout. You're gonna feel it even if you don't use an ankle weight. So you can do that as well without it or with. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Now give me a little tap and then up. See, I'm crossing over that other leg to get into a different part of my glute muscle. Cross and lift, 10 more, 10, yes. Nine, eight. What's good about booty workouts is that it involves your glutes, your legs, your abs, your lower back. Everything is connected. Getting that good work. Three, two, and one. Hold it up. Now I want you to come up on your hands. Bring it in and out, in and out. Now we're activating the hamstring as we squeeze on the end. There you go. For eight, seven, six, five, four more. Good. Three, two, and one. Hold it up here. Now I want you to bring it down and press up. Down, up, good. So you wanna keep those hands directly underneath your shoulders. If your wrists get tired, you can always go down to the elbows again. Just make sure you're not doing this because then you're getting work in your arms and we're trying to activate the glutes, tighten up the booty. Yes. You got it, four, three, two. Now you want you to go up, up, and release. Little, big, and down, yes. Up, up, and release. So every time you get to that high up, you're giving me an extra squeeze for those cheeks. Up, up, and release. So some people tell me they feel work happening in their supporting leg. That means you need to center your body a little more. Your supporting leg will feel something, but all the work should be going in the leg that's moving. Two more. Up, up. Last one. Up, up. Hold it and pulse. Come on, pulse it up. I just need 20, 19, yes. Getting that butt nice and tight. Burn it out. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold and release. Great job. Sit it back. Go ahead and loosen it up a little bit. We're not done with this leg. We are going to fatigue this leg before we move on to the other side. You want to have all that blood burning in your right glute. All right, let's take it back up. Now we're going to go into what we call fire hydrant. So you lift up and down. When you do this move, you can even go on one elbow just so you can really feel the work happening, even out the knee to the hip, working those abductors, the side of your butt muscle. Eight more, seven, six, five, yes. Pull your belly in, keeping the back supported. Three, two, hold it here. 
kick it out and bring it in. Good, hold, kick and in. Give me eight more. Hiya! Yes, that's right. Seven. You got it. Give me six. Five. Keep it going. Four. Three. You're almost there. Two. And one. Hold it here. Pulse it for 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Come on higher. 11, 10. Fill your obliques working. Two, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it for eight, seven, six, five. Higher. Four, three, two, and release. Oh my gosh. It's burning, right? Sit back in that child's pose. Get a good stretch, you guys. Sit and lean to the hip you just worked. That's right. All right, who's ready for the next side? Let's go ahead and shake it out. Bring it back down to those elbows and work these buns of steam. Other side, pushing it up. Here we go. Up and down. So remember, you're kicking out. Kick out and down, good. All the way, fully extending the leg, bringing the knee back to the other knee. Press out and down, out. Woo, burning, burning. You got it, eight more. Seven, six, five. Give me four, three, two, now go ahead and hold it up, pulse it, pulse it. Yes, tiny pulses there. 20, 19, burn it out. Turn the toe down to the floor. Keep burning. Yes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And give me that little cross and lift. Cross and lift. I want you to fill your glutes and your hamstrings. Fill that area where the butt and thigh meet and squeeze right there on that lift for eight, seven, don't forget to breathe, six, five, give me four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and come up and I want you to bring it in and out, in and out, yes. Once again, we're getting into the hamstrings now. As you squeeze and lengthen. You got it, 10 more. Nine, you start to fill in that supporting leg. Shift your body so you're center. Give me four, three, two more. Hold it here, good. Bring it down and up, down and up, yes. Let's keep on burning. Pushing that glute muscle. Tightening it up. Squeezing for eight. Ooh. Seven. Six. Five. Give me four more. Three. Two. Now give me up, up, and down like this. Up, up, and down. You got it. Push it up up and down. Pull your belly up. Don't lose form in your upper body. I know it's hard when you're burning those buns to think about the rest of your body because it burns so much, but you can do it. All that focus should be on your glute muscles, getting stronger, tighter, up, up, down. Yes, give me four more. Ooh. Three, two, and hold it up and pulse. Up, 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 come on. Pulse it out, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, and release. Yeah, sit it back, get a little baby stretch, because we're still gonna work that leg. Now let's go ahead and flip it over so you can see. We're gonna do those side laterals right here, the fire hydrants. You can go on the back elbow if you need to and lift and lower, yes. 
lift and lower. Right there, give me 10, nine. So don't think about the pain when you're doing this. Think about how strong you're getting. Each rep is you getting stronger. Yes, give me four, three, two. Now we're gonna go ahead and kick it out like this. Out, kick it. Come on, come and kick it with me here at Jimra, working that booty, getting it nice and tight. Every day is a new day to get stronger, you guys. And I'm going to help you with that. Maybe you can't finish the whole workout today or you have to pause it and take a little break. It's okay, as long as you come back, I'll be right here waiting for you. Four more, four, yes. Kick off the fat, we got it. Give me two, oh, one more and then hold it, pulse it up. 18, 17, 16, yes. Woo, burning it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, just hold for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and oh my gosh, release it. Sit back into that hip you just worked. You really wanna to lean to that side so it feels the stretch. Great job, you guys. All right. Now that we worked that side, we're gonna go to all on our back and we're gonna get into some bridges. So go ahead and lie down on your back. You're going to take that leg in the air, right leg, and push it up and down. So I'm gonna show you your foot on your knee. Because we have ankle weights, normally I say if your leg's in the air, it's not getting work. But with the ankle weights, it is getting a little work as well. So we'll start here at the beginner level, pushing up and down. And then once you start to feel this and feel like you could take it to the next level, you can go ahead and add that leg up to the ceiling. Press it all the way up, up and down, yes. So your goal here is to get your butt off the floor, activating the glute muscle of the foot on the floor. Give me eight, seven, six, five, there you go, four more. Three, two, now I want you to hold it up and pulse. Pulse, pulse, tiny pulses. If you wanna get more, you can go on your toe or even your heel for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it and release. Whew. Get a little break, bring it in. So see that leg, like I said, it's getting some work, the one that's in the air because you have these ankle weights. So you're getting that double workout. That's what we're here for. Extra credit, y'all. Go ahead and take the other foot over your knee. Let's start here with the basic level. Now, not only is this exercise single leg bridges, getting your butt muscles, it's getting your hamstrings, your lower back, abs, the whole core section, Everything's connected. So you gotta remember that when you're doing these workouts, it's all connected. Beautiful, let's go ahead and lift that leg straight up. So get some work. Yes. Push it. Push it to the limit. That's right, give me 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six. Come on, y'all. Five, four, three, two. Let's hold it up and pulse right here. Squeeze, squeeze. If you touch that glute muscle, that booty cheek is hard. That's on the floor. Yes, the higher you go, the better. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. 
and release. Great work, you guys. How are you feeling out there? I hope your booty is burning just as much as mine is. That means you're getting in that good work. Let's go ahead and sit it up. Lie down on our side. We're gonna get into some side work here. So you're gonna give me straight legs. You're gonna take your hand underneath your shoulder, your elbows and everything is even, hips align, and you're gonna lift and lower. Nice and straight. So it doesn't matter right now if you're flexing or pointing. That ankle weight is giving you all that you need. And if at any time you start to feel work other than your thigh and hip area, like say for instance, you feel it in your calves or your shins, take off the weight, you know, take a break. You wanna be able to do these movements with strong form. Eight, seven, six, five, give me four, Three, two, one. I want you to take it up, up, and down. Up, up, and down, yes. Little, big, and down. So sometimes when people are doing lying leg lifts, they lift it too high, they go beyond their head. For what we're trying to work here, which is our abductors and our glutes, you don't wanna go that high because then you come out of the work range. So when I say up, up and down. Make sure it's not going any higher than your head. Give me four more. Three. Yes. Two. Hold it up there and pulse it up. Up, up, tiny pulses. Keeping the foot far away from the other leg. You can even turn that toe in for extra credit. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, hold, draw circle. Oh, yes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and reverse it. Come on, really squeeze on that circle. Make that big toe like a pencil. Four more. Three, two, and one. Good job, you guys. Go ahead and bend those knees. Relax it, bend those knees, and I want you to open up and down, clamshells, open. So glue those feet into each other, open and down. Yes. And when you're doing all these moves, really work on lifting up through the ribs so that your abs are still getting work. Your core, it's on the whole time. Give me eight, seven, Six, that's right, five, four more, three, two. Now you're gonna do this move, but you're gonna lift the knees off the floor. So you're kind of balancing on that hip. And because you have the ankle weights, you get more work. That's right. 10, nine, yes, really balancing on that hip. Seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Bring both legs down and you're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. So when I say 90 degrees, that's what our legs are in now. It means your knees are bent and you're making like an L shape with your body. You don't want your knees back here. You want them right in front. Lift lift and you're not kicking you're lifting with that hip give me 10 more nine eight seven six five four three two now i want you to lift lift and release Lift, lift, and release. So remember what I said before, you don't wanna go too high out of your work zone. Little, big, and release. 
I like to do these little big ones because then you're squeezing harder on that second up. Up, up, and down. Eight more, come on. Up, up, and down, yes. Seven, you got it. Six, feeling the burn and we're loving it. Five, yes. Four more. Three, remember to stay pulled up too. And one, good, and release. Go ahead and let's flip it to the other side. Great job, you guys. Glue those feet together. Here we go. Well, let's start with the straight leg. Straight leg and lift. Lift it all the way up. Yes, lift it. There you go. So you just did all that hard work on the other side. You already know what to expect. Don't be discouraged. You know you can get through this. Hard work now proves for better results in the future. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, nice and long. 3, 2, and 1. Give me a little, big, and down. Little, big, and down. There you go. Little, big, and down. Little, big, and down. 10 more like this. Feel a tighten up right here. Pull the belly in. Squeezing everything. Good, I want you to think about how great you're gonna look in your tight jeans, your leggings, your bikinis. That's right. For you men out there, your swim trucks, speedos, whatever works for you. <laughs> Give me four more. Three, two, now go ahead and pulse it up. Pulse it, just burn it out. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it, draw that circle, oh yeah. Woo, burn it out. Four, three, two, and reverse. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold and release it. Good job. Let's bend those knees to a 90 degree angle and get into those clamshells. Yes. Push, push the feet into each other. Burn it out. The burn is your friend. Let's go for 10. Nine, eight. Sometimes if you're not filling it in your glute, you gotta think mind to body. Where should my muscles be burning? And right now it should be right here, this area. Four more, three. If you don't feel it, I want you to try and focus on it. Now let's go ahead and find that balance and lift it up. So now you're also gonna feel it in your core, your obliques, as you balance on that hip. And because you're holding these ankle weights, you're gonna get a little more work as you hold the feet in the air for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and release it. Go ahead and lift it up and down, up and down. Try and angle that knee down to the floor. Get into that left hip, yes. Feel the burn, enjoy the burn. Booty on fire. Let's go 10 more. Nine, eight, yes, feel it. Go ahead and touch it, it's okay. See what it's working with, yes. Four more. Three, two, and give me an up up and release up up and release i know you want to take a break but you can't you got to finish strong we are coming to the end yes 10 and release give me nine Woo. eight come on i'm with you we're burning together seven yes let's get to that finish line six 
burn it. Five. You're there. Give me four. Three. Two. Last one. And release. Great work, you guys. You just completed my booty workout with ankle weights. Let's go ahead and stretch it out. So I want you to take your right knee in front, left leg back, and reach. Stretching out the back of that hip. You worked so hard. You deserve a good stretch. Go ahead and reach farther. Feel the stretch, feel the good loosening up of that muscle. Great. Let's switch it out. Other leg. And lean forward. Really sit into that hip of the bent knee. And lean. Good job. Wanna take it to your back. Bring the right foot over the left knee. Pull it into your chest. Push the right knee away, stretching out the back of your hip. We worked so hard, and your booty's gonna thank you for it, believe me. And switch, other side. Now remember, if you don't have ankle weights, that's fine, but you know what to do if you wanna intensify the workout, you add these ankle weights. It'll be 10 times harder, but worth all of those results you're gonna get after it. Good job, bring those knees in. Go ahead and shake it out. Sit up, reach forward, grab the toes, stretch out the back of the thighs, which you also worked when we were doing those bridges. Point your toes and let your body go. Go ahead and take your right leg over and twist to the back, lower back stretch. Other side. Great work, you guys. Give me a butterfly right here, deep inhale. Exhale, elbows to the knees. Push those knees open. Stretching out your hip flexors. And give me a deep inhale, exhale. Great job, you guys. My name is Nicole Steed, and that was my booty workout with ankle weights. Hi, guys. I hope you liked my workout. If you haven't subscribed to Jimmer yet, subscribe right now, right here, right here. Subscribe. Do it. See you next time.